track at 3B again. Uh, made a lot of progress the last week. Nearly got the drain right up through the middle for that scour pipe that we're going to put in. They're just working their way back from up there now. I think maybe two, three more days maximum with the bulldozer. We'll see all the dirt moved and pushed out into the middle. They've built the bench right around the whole dam now so you could physically drive right around at four metres deep. We're just carting some rocks today from up at the paddock. We um, needed a few more for the backwaters of the 3B. Young Cal, he's taking a digger to the top, he's loading the truck. I was just using the tractor there just to push them off the road, essentially, and he'll come down with his digger after and he'll put, place them rocks. I just had to get them off the road so we can keep the wheels moving through that track. And we're also going to realign the spillway behind 3B. At the moment, it just runs down onto the flat, leaves a huge big puddle every winter. We're going to divert this spillway so it spins around about where I am and heads straight down to where the sheep are, straight onto the flat. Then we'll rock line that. Then we'll also dig a nice spoon drain across the whole flat. So essentially the water will end up straight into the river and we'll build a nice road so that we can actually get across that creek line as well. So the whole area down there should be a bit drier in the winter. The rocks were essentially, they were done when we first started. We crushed up heaps and heaps of rock. They were massive boulders we had them broken up and we've used them on all our dam spillways and the rest of the spillways on the farm you'll see and around a lot of like two bees got a lot of rocks around the outside of it that's all from that crushed up rock but it's all from the farm that stuff that's coming together very well